In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a drawing that you or a student drew and put it into Adobe Illustrator to turn it into a black and white digital file. So I'm in Adobe Illustrator. All I did here was I went to new and then I opened a new board that I just did an 11 inches wide by eight and a half inches tall artboard. And I clicked on create. And so now I have a new blank canvas. Now what I'm going to do is go to file and place. That's going to allow me to place an image that I have on my computer. It's opening up my desktop folder. If you know where it lives, it might be in your downloads. Mine happens to be on my desktop. And I just did a drawing, quick drawing with one color marker on paper. Now I'm going to place it on this page. You're going to see that it's really big, but I could take the corners and if I hold shift and then adjust the size, then I can resize it here. The other way to do that is to take a look at the width and height in your toolbar on the right. Now the view that I'm in, I'm in the essentials view. So if you want yours to look like mine, you're going to go to the top and click on essentials. And you can, if I, this, if you, if it looks like it's a broken link, it's not going to maintain the, the height and width proportions. But if I click it and you see that there is a link, let's say I wanted this to be six inches. And if I press enter, then it automatically adjusts the height. Now that I have my image here, I want to turn this into a, a black and white image that is going to be a vector image. And I'll show you what that means. When I have my image selected, you're going to see some quick actions on the right. If I'm, if I'm not on that image and if it's not selected, you don't see that same, same menu. So click on your image. Then you have some quick actions. I'm going to do an image trace. So if I click image trace, I want this to be a black and white logo. So I'm going to select black and white. And it says tracing may proceed slowly. Would you like to continue? Okay. So you just wait until it, it traces over it. And here you can see it turned it into a black and white image. Now, I'm going to show you, it actually made here, if I take a look at the layers and expand it, you're going to see that there's my image tracing but there's actually the white behind it and I want to get rid of that. So if I go back to my properties up here, this little trace panel gives me an extra menu and I'm going to move it up so that you can see it. Now, yours probably looks more like this. I have a tracing result and I would like to get rid of the white. So if I go to advanced, I'm going to go to ignore white. This is going to make things a lot easier later on as long as you do this. So if I ignore the white, then I'm not going to have to get rid of it later and I'll just end up with the black lines. So I'm going to say ignore white and then I can close this menu. Once you do that, I'm going to click this button to expand. And when you do that, now you see that it actually, it fit it exactly to the shape and it took out all of the white behind it. Now you, you know that it takes it out when I'm going to click on the artboard. So out of my shape on this artboard, this, this will show the transparency grid. So now if I click that transparency grid, it shows that there's no white in the background. And this is going to be better when you do a cut on a laser, on a laser cutter, because even with a white ba background, it's going to read it as something that it wants to um, raster or engrave on your design. So you don't want the white. So I'm going to turn this off so it just looks white. And now I have a black and white image that can be cut on a laser cutter.